Wakey, wakey, sweetie pie. I said, wake up. There we are. Welcome back to the real world, sweetness. I was wondering when you'd wake up. So I decided to just wake you up myself instead of continuing to wait. Are you? Darling, are you still sleepy? Can't you tell? We're at the Pizzaplex, honey. Well, I guess it makes sense that you'd be confused. After all, we're in a room no one else knows about. Save for me, Mr. Boss Man, and now you. Oh, shush, 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 shush. You're still so drowsy. That chloroform really works wonders. You're so out of it, you can't even speak coherent sentences. It's fairly adorable, I'll admit. You're like a babbling baby. My precious baby. Although, it'd be rather strange to call you that since we're going to be lovers, but... Oh, well. It could be a cute little nickname. You really don't know, darling? We're faded lovers. We were meant to be together. Mr. Bossman said so. And everything he says is right. He told me that my feelings weren't one-sided and that you'd fall for me in return if I did exactly as he described. And now, now you're here with me, all to myself. My precious sweetie pie. Come now, sweetheart, don't start struggling now. After all, those restraints aren't going to budge no matter how much you wiggle and squirm. Plus, you're hurting my feelings. I thought you'd be happy to be with me. We've been together for so long already. I figured this was the most logical next step to take in our relationship. You really don't recognize me by my voice alone? Huh. Either you're incredibly dense, sweetie, or my disguise is really that good. <laughs> No matter, darling. You can just call me... Vanny. You can call me Vanny. That's the perfect nickname for me in this form. Oh, you'll understand soon enough, sweetie. For now... Are you hungry? Well, I figured you might be since it's been a few hours since I knocked you out initially. And I wouldn't want my sweetie pie to go hungry. Well, of course I had to knock you out. How else was I meant to get you into this room and all to myself? All my other attempts to woo you and get your attention failed. So, this was the only other method I could use to get your attention and get you all to myself all alone, without anyone to distract us. Oh, now, now, sweetie, don't go shouting at me. That's rather rude, you know. But yes, 
It was me who was... stalking you. Though, I don't think the term stalking is very nice. I think it's a little harsh, isn't it? I mean, it makes it seem like I don't value you. And I do! I treasure you, sweetheart. You're my most precious gift from above, after all. And soon... <laughs> soon... <laughs> you'll realize you feel the same way about me. Now let me ask you again. Are you hungry? <laughs> I thought so. Your stomach never lies to you after all, darling. Now then, why don't we get you all nice and fed? Let's see... I think I have some of your favorite sweets here. I'm positive that I picked out the right ones. So, here you are. Strawberry shortcake, some Mont Blancs, some cookies, some cupcakes, I even got you German chocolate cake. I know how much you love the coconut added to it. I got it from the cafe here in the Pizzaplex. Didn't you know, sweetie? We opened up a new cafe here. It's supposed to be based off of Japanese made cafes. You get little cardboard cutouts of all the characters and butler and maid outfits that come with the food. But we're not here to discuss that. We're here to make sure that you get nice and fed before... Well... Before we initiate you. Oh, the initiation? Well, we'll discuss that in a minute, sweetie. You don't have to worry about that right now. For now... Let's get you nice and fed. Now, open up. Take some strawberry shortcake in that sweet little mouth of yours. Ah! Darling, you're making this very difficult. Now please open your mouth. Alright, if you're going to be like that, then... And there we go! <laughs> Wasn't that easy? Now come on now. Don't be like that, darling. Especially when I went through all the trouble to get you all these sweets. I spent a whole paycheck, you know. Now don't cry, darling. I know your finger hurts, but I promise it'll heal up nicely. I promise to nurse it back to health in no time at all. But you kind of deserved it. I mean, you were being so rude to me, sweetie. You wouldn't open your mouth and take the food when I asked you to. Even when I went through so much trouble to get all these nice sweets for you. You promise you'll be good now? <laughs> good. Now let's continue, shall we? Open your mouth. Ah. Uh... There we go. I hope it tastes good. I haven't had the time to try any of these desserts myself, so I'm not sure how the quality is. But so far the Pizza Plex has been pretty decent with quality with the food, so I guess I can take it with a grain of salt. Or should I say a grain of sugar? <laughs> get it? I said, get it? There we are! Oh, you have such a nice laugh, Sweet Pea. It's just so adorable. Now, while you eat, I have to ask... How long were you going to go without telling me about her? You know what I mean. I'm talking about the floozy that you've been wandering around with ever since she got a job here at the Plex. She's been hanging all over you like... like spiders on a wall, flies on honey, cockroaches on old moldy food. <laughs> 
Now don't give me that bullshit. I know she's not just a friend. I've... I've seen the way that you look at her. I've seen the way that she looks at you. I've seen the way that you both interact with each other. I know for a fact that you've been cheating on me. Well, of course it's cheating. I mean, we're fated lovers. We were meant to be together. We were destined to be together. And you're, you're throwing it all away. Throwing it all away and mocking me by hanging around with that girl. That, that, that piece of garbage. I really don't appreciate being made fun of. Especially by the one that I love so, so, so much. It's not very nice, you know. Your apologies are... Well, you know what? I'll take it. I was going to say that your apologies mean nothing, but I can't stay mad at you forever. Not when you're looking at me with such an adorable face, with such teary eyes and such flushed cheeks and such a pouty lip. And with a pouty lip that's covered in icing, it's just, oh, you look so adorable. I could just kiss your cute face all day. These cute cheeks, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this cute forehead, mm -hmm. this cute nose, mm -hmm. and these cute lips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been wanting to do that. Oh, and by the way, we don't have to worry about that girl anymore. She won't be getting in the way of us anymore. I made sure to take care of that. What did I do with her? Oh, um, <laughs> funny you should mention that. Um, so, you don't know this. Frankly, nobody in the Pizzaplex knows about this, but there is a little something that lives down deep in the bowels of this place. Something that really likes tearing things limb from limb. Why do I bring that up? Darling, you're not that dense. Come now, haven't you figured it out already? I mean... Why else would I bring something like that up? Now, 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 don't start crying. I mean, it was a quick and painless death. She deserved far worse, but... I'll... I'll let her have this one. After all... She did apologize to me for trying to take you away. So she was well aware of what she was doing. Normally I would be more pissed at that, but I prefer people who are honest over liars. So the fact that she was honest about her attempts at getting you to commit infidelity against me, I'll give her that. I'll give her that sweet, painless death over a long, exaggerated, gruesome death anytime. If it were anybody else? Well, <laughs> I'd be sure to torture them a good amount before sending them to the depths to get tormented. And then eventually, torn apart. Come now, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. I mean, she was trying to take you away from me. How else did you expect me to react? Oh, darling, as cute as your crying face is, I really don't like that the only reason you have a crying face is because of somebody else. Somebody so... vile. So, dry those eyes, darling, and let's continue feeding you. After all, a couple of bites isn't going to satisfy your hunger. So open up. Darling, if you don't open up, I'll be forced to break another one of your fingers. 
And we don't want that now, do we? <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. Now you keep eating those bites. You keep eating them like the good little pet you are. Well, of course you're like my little pet. I mean, I'm taking care of you after all. And you're just so gosh darn cute. There we are, all finished. I wouldn't want you to get a tummy ache now, so I'll pack away the rest of the sweets for later. In the meantime, <laughs> I think you've behaved enough to where I can untie you for now. But don't try anything funny, or I'll be forced to do something drastic. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? There we are, all nice and untied. So... Why don't we get ready for bed, then? After all, it is rather late. And I wouldn't want you to be tired now, would I? Now let's get you nice and- ah! Hey! What are you doing?! Oh no, you don't! You left me no other option, darling. I've tried to be patient, I've tried to be nice, I've tried, and tried, and tried, and all you've done is mock my attempts to woo you and be nice to you and be kind to you. Kind and fair, but now I'm not going to play fair. Now I'm going to play... DIRTY! Does that hurt? Savor that sensation. Because that is going to be a solid reminder of why you should never, ever mess with me and ever try to leave me. Okay, darling? I said, okay, darling? Good. I'm glad we reached an understanding. Now then... Because you've been so naughty, I want you to crawl all the way over here to where I'm standing. Of course I'm moving away from you. This is going to be your punishment. If you want me to forgive you, earn it. I want you to crawl on the leg that I just broke and come over here and lay your head on my lap. Only then will I forgive you for what you just did. Try to run away again, and I'll do more than just break your leg. This time, I won't hesitate to chop the damn thing off. Understand? Good. Now then. Come over here to me. Lay your head on my lap, and I'll forgive you. That's it. You can do it. I know it hurts, but remember, you deserve this. This is your punishment for being naughty. There we are. Just a little further. There we are. That wasn't so hard, now was it? <laughs> oh, that pain expression on your face is so cute. Maybe I should do this to you more often. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> now then, you're going to fall asleep right here. 
I can't leave you alone in the other room, so... You'll have to make do right here. And don't worry, I don't mind this one bit. If anything, I am going to be enjoying every second of this. And I do deserve a little bit of praise and a little bit of reward for everything that I've done. This will be my consolation prize for everything. <laughs> That's it. Just relax. Let the pain melt away. And when you wake up... <laughs> when you wake up, everything will be better. No more pain. No more suffering. No more anything. Except for me. And Mr. Bossman, of course. Oh, and speaking of him, when you wake up, I'll take you to meet him. I promise you, you're gonna love meeting him. He's so amazing and wonderful. Not as wonderful as you, though. You're perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you, silly. This is just going to be... An awakening of sorts. This will be what will finally allow us to be together. And you'll finally realize just how much you love me. For now, just relax. Just sleep in my arms. Sleep on my lap. Sleep right here with me. Everything will be okay. Everything is already okay, because we're together now. I love you, darling, and soon... <laughs> I can't wait to hear you say those words back to me. And when that happens, I don't think I'll be able to keep my hands off of you. But for now, for now, I'll settle just for this. Good night, darling. I'll see you very soon. Thank you to all my $9 patrons for supporting this video. Aiden S. 2014, Alexander Lee, Angelic Panda, Orsalan Falati, Urisville, Brantley Wigard, Chief, D4C, Darts Z, Declan Benolm, Delboy, Draco, Dragonblood Fire X, Ellison Wilson, Ereviv, Evil Doer, Felonil W. 2011, Frank, Gavin, Isaac Coria, Jace, Joel Climaco, Jonesi, Cade, Lawbringer DK, Lex, Liam Hughes, Lone Survivor 3, Man of Many Bees, Mark Mason, Maxwell Lukier, Nick Capone, PDP, Patrick Jan Josua Davidson, Polyup, Prism, Prototype Number 13, Sean Malcolm, Sleepy Sloth, Sneedly Chuck, Sonrox, Body to Hottie, Tommy, Uriel Herrera, Will, XX Antitrix Never Sorry 17 XX, Zach Hale, and Zivis01. Thank you all so, so much for being able to make these videos possible. It really means the world and more to me that you guys support me the way that you do. If any of you would like to support me out there, I'll leave the links to my social media down below. There you can find both my Ko fi and my Patreon. That way, if you want to make a one-time donation, you can, and if you want to continue to support me full-time, you can also. Thank you all again so much for listening to today's audio or watching today's video. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.